Last December, my family and I went to Malaysia, and we had this guy come from a shuttle service to drive us from our house to the airport, which is about 45 minutes or an hour. And the guy who came to our door is really early in the morning. One of the first things that he told us, or that he said to us, was he asked us what our names were, and then he told us what they meant. And during that ride to the airport, we had this amazing conversation with him. He talked about how names give people a sense of identity. Apparently, one of the things that he does is that he goes to like birthday parties and different events, and he tells kids what their names are, and he gives them like little photographs or something like that with their names engraved on it. And he just stressed how understanding the meaning of your name gives kids a sense of purpose and destiny. Since then, I've thought a lot about names, and especially recently. So today I'm going to ask a question which is kind of ex an excuse for me to talk about the subject. And the question is, what is the value of a name? Now when I'm talking about names, I don't just mean the names that you're given. I mean names that you give yourselves or names that you give other people. I've noticed this tendency that I like to call people names. And I don't mean mean names. I mean that people will remind me of certain things. Like, I have a friend who reminds me of a butterfly. I have another friend who reminds me of the stars. Friends just sometimes really resemble animals or things. And I like to give that to the people. So I notice that with myself. But I also notice, even bigger than just myself, a tendency to want to give ourselves a kind of identity. And sometimes that means trying to identify what your spiritual gift is. Then there's the Myers-Briggs brain typing system. And there's this other thing which talks about a prophet and a priest and a king. And that one is also really interesting. There's so much out there of names that we want to give each other. And the question really is, what is the value of a name? Should you want to have a name other than the identity that you have in Christ? What is the purpose of, like, you're special, you have a certain identity? But I think the value of having a name is that it can help you see what your place is in the kingdom of God. And that it, knowing what your strengths are, or just, like, knowing what your personality is like, is a way of taking joy in a person, whether it's yourself or in another person. And it's a way of loving people, to name them to let them know who they are to you. This is something that I notice with myself a lot when I read books, that I want to know what role I play in this story. And I, I read The Great Divorce a few months ago by C.S. Lewis, and there's all these characters who the narrator, who's, I guess, Lewis, meets, all of them who could either be in heaven or in hell, I felt when I read that book like none of the characters were myself. Even though I kind of could identify with some of them, I just felt like I couldn't find myself. And it's like when you're in a crowd of people and you just can't find anyone like yourself. It's really lonely. I have this dear friend who I talked to this about with her. And she said that I was like the main character. I was like Lewis. And that made a big difference to me. Sort of tangent, I got this shirt from my auntie who is actually from Malaysia. And it has two owls on it and I like it. I think when we try to find ourselves within a book, it should not be to give us this like false sense of self and this grand person that we really are. Naming should not be a way for us to be prideful. But when other people name us, it's a way of loving us. Like Isaiah talks about but God has called us by name, and we are his. A name is a place, and it's a very, it's a very wonderful thing.